On 11th December 2022, in front of 45,000 plus spectators at the D.Y. Patel Stadium, India defeated Australia in the Super Over. India team ka jo love affair hai, Australia ke saath, toba, toba un. Thriller of a women's T20I between the India women's team and the Australian women's team. This team India ki khasiyat hai, chote se chota total defend ka naj. In a match which will go down in history as one of the all-time classics of women's T20 cricket. Even more significant is the fact that this was Australia's first ever loss across formats in 2022. In the past five to six years, the Australian juggernaut has annihilated each and every team that they come across. Such has been their record that it won't be wrong to call them one of the best teams of all time in not just cricket across sports. As the T20 World Cup looms large, Australia five-time champions are favourites. But if there is one team that they are wary of, it is India. Yes, India. Confused or excited? Well, whatever your emotion is, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and share it with your friends. Now, let's see why the Indian team has been a thorn in the side of Australia. For this, we'll have to go back to the 2017 Women's ODI World Cup. In the semi-final, Australia suffered a heartbreaking loss at the hands of India. But this proved to be a catalyst for the Southern Stars as they went on to win 26 successive ODI matches after this. A world record. Finally, on 26th September 2021, this streak was broken. Well, it was none other than India who chased down a mammoth target of 265 to take home the honours. It was not a fluke by any chance. In the previous match itself, India had lost via dropped catches and a no ball at the end. Last year, another Australian unbeaten run was ended by India, as mentioned in the video start. Though Australia won the series 4-1, which is a comprehensive lead, it could have been a very different story because two of India's losses were very narrow and close. India has adopted a fearless approach while batting. Captain Harman Preet Kaur and Vice Captain Smriti Mandana are two of the world's best batters. There is no dearth of explosive power as well as Shefali Verma and Richa Ghosh, fresh of the Under-19 World Cup win, will be raring to go and show their range of shots at the senior level. Though Julan Goswami has left a huge gap in the bowling attack, Renuka Singh Thakur is trying to ably fill the gap by piercing the opposition batting at will. India is a well-settled unit, so is Australia. Their strong core of Meg Lanning, Ali Sahili, Ellis Perry, Beth Mooney and Megan Shoot will act as mentors to the youngsters as they navigate through Australia's title defence. Both teams will have to top their group and win the resulting semi-final if they want to clash against each other in the final, which will be a repeat of the 2020 edition. Will Australia prevail this time too? Or will India take a leaf out of their under-19 team's book and finally break the World Cup jinx. Well, some high quality cricketing action awaits us over the next 20 days and only that will reveal the answer.